here we are, DeMeso dropping 128 gigabyte image, rocking over 7,000 games. And you might be wondering, hey, that's not a lot of games for 128 gigabyte image. Well, it has over 99 PS1 games and any kind of CD games take up a ton of space. So where you're getting most of your space used here is you know you have all the Sega CDs and you have 99 PlayStation games. You got 12 PSP games. Um, and then I think you do the Nintendo DS was added. And I believe there's another bunch of games added. PC Engine CD. These games are also very large in size. So to have all these games, plus all the PlayStation games as well, 7,000 games is still a lot of games because of the type of games they are. So here you are. Um, I gave the, the, his 32 gigabyte image an A. Um, he puts all Nintendo 64 games that run on the Pi. Uh, 38 on the Nintendo DS. Let's go through here really quick. I give it an A because it's great to see, um, you know, reversions. It was a version three of his 32. So to see that now we have the version three with just the added games to it, I think it's gonna appeal to a lot of people. So really good to see that. So got all your Neo Geo's NES 967 with the hack games. A lot of people looking for those hack games, this does have it. Neo Geo Pocket, Neo Geo Pocket Color, PC Engine 152. So this is just pictures, no video snaps. PSP, we have uh, Apache Overkill, Days of Thunder, Earth Shield, I Must Run. <laughs> Ninja Mariah, Murray, One Epic Game, Pac-Man Championship, Terminator, Top Gun, Touch Racing, Nitro, Twin Blades, and Zombie Racers. PlayStation, now here's your big collection. Now, I think I need to go back and check, but when there was a PlayStation only image on the 128, I think the most you could fit on a 128 was like around two to 300, I wanna say like 250 or so. So 100 of these plus all the other games is a lot of games. So it looks like there's some great RPGs, some great fighters, some great adventure games, shoot 'em ups, got your Final Fantasy, Grand Turismo one and two, good to see both of those. And both good to see GTA 1 and 2. Love those games. Mortal Kombat Special Forces. Got some sports games on here as well. You got Pepsi Man. That's good stuff right there. Tomb Raiders, Tony Hawk 2. And you got your wrestling, wrestling games as well. So. Really cool there. RetroPie is running a new version of RetroPie. All the Sega 32X, Sega CD, the majority of the games here as well. Good to see. SG 1068. Super NES 873, Vetrix 21, Virtual Boy 18, Wonder Swan, Color 19, Batman Collection. This is going to be all your Batman games. So if you like Batman, Castlevania, plenty of Castlevania games to, to play with. Capcom System 1, 2, and 3. Donkey Kong games, Family Computer System. Final Fantasy, and then we have Genesis Hacks, King of Fighter Games, Mario Games, Mega Man, Mortal Kombat Games, Nintendo Hacks, PC Engine CD, like I said, you don't see this very often, good to see, Super Famicom, so you get the Super Famicom games as well, your hacks on the SNES, Star Wars, Street Fighter, Turn Ninja Turtles, Wrestling, Zelda Collections. Within here you have your NES Mini and your SNES Mini. Star Fox 2 is on here, nice to see. Box art looks really good on this theme. Fits right in there, really nice. Good stuff. Um, like I said, all games 7,050. You do have your favorites. Um, arcade, only eight. Because most of them are gonna be in MAME right here. That's just a directory thing. So, uh, nice little arcade set, 686. Kind of small, but still good. Uh, Final Burn Alpha, 88. This is going to be your CPS 1, 2, and 3 in here. Dreamcast does have 10 games. Capcom vs. SNK, Dead or Alive 2, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, Mortal Kombat Gold, Power Stone, Project Justice, Soul Calibur, World Series, Baseball, WDF, Rump, Royal Rumble. Now the thing with Dreamcast is you might need to configure your controller in Ridecast for that to work, but it's not very hard. I have a video on it if you need help. Atari 2600, looking good. 509, 7800, 60, Atari Lynx 85. 
We did those. Game and Watch 54. Game Gear 227, Game Boy 505, Game Boy Advance 993, Game Boy 449, MAME 686, Sega Master System 138, Sega Mega Drive, or Genesis 724 with some hack games. And then we're back at the systems here that we already talked about. With MAME, I would say that's you know, there's some arcade sets out there that have, you know, over 2,000. So I'd say it might be um, kind of lacking there, but I'm looking at these games and it has all the games I would want to play on there. You know, kind of my favorite. So um, I think most people are going to be happy with this. You know, I think it's what you're looking for. You got Contra, you have Battletoads, you have Darius, Double Dragons. I'm sure it has The Simpsons and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, I'm sure it has Street Fighters. There you go, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and then Turtles in Time, and then The Simpsons, yep. You got Ghostbusters. I'm sure you even have your WWF games as well. Let's go down to W, yep, WWF. X-Men, X-Men for Street Fighters. So you got a lot of the, the classic games on here um, as well. I think there's a Street Fighter collection. Did I see that? Oh, it's just King of Fighters collect. Oh, yeah, Street Fighter. There you go. She's still got Hyper Street Fighter 2, Hyper Street Fighter Kart Hack, Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter, SNK vs. Capcom, Street Fighter, Alpha 2 and 3, EX1, all Street Fighter 2s and 3s, Street Fighter the movie, and then Street Fighters for the consoles as well. Uh, let's go ahead and give one of these games a whirl. Let's try, uh, what is this, NES. Very cool, nice loading screen. That's pretty cool. And then you got the NES. All right. So that works fine. Nice um, bezels on there as well. Bezels and loading screens. So <clears throat> Game Boy Advance. Let's see what this looks like. So you get the loading screen. And there you go. This is one of my, my favorite bezels that they you know lower the resolution a little bit so the game looks great so really liking this. this is how i like to play um game boy advanced hey good job all right let's do this I don't think we messed up the store enough. This game plays pretty well for a controller game. So overall, I'm gonna have to give this A minus with all the other 128s out there. I just still think a few others, you know, I might go to over this one. But I mean, it's still up there. It'd be in my top five for sure. Especially if I was looking for these particular games. You know, a lot of Playstations, um, a lot of portable systems like the PSP and the Nintendo DS. 
um, not you looking for the full version of Nintendo 64 and not trying to get all the video snaps. Now I know this file still has a lot more space on it because the download's only 90 gigabytes. So I have a feeling that if you expand the file system, you're gonna still have about 20 gigabytes, maybe even more. So there's a lot you can expand on. You can add the rest of that Nintendo 64 collection. You can uh, add some more Nintendo DS games and many, many more. Love the bezels, love the boot screens. So from an aesthetics point, it gets an A. Really, really beautiful in that uh, respect. It's very quick, boots up fast, has a splash screen all that fun stuff. So really well done, um, really good stuff. Let me know if you guys got any questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.